What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, what we have in store for you all, for everybody that's watching here on YouTube, what we're gonna do is we are going to go hunt for tortoise eggs. Preferably, probably just redfoot eggs today because the redfoots have been laying a crap ton. If you guys have been seeing my stories on Instagram, you've been seeing that we've been collecting a lot of eggs, but today I wanna show you guys how I look for eggs and what I do to find the eggs. Pretty much the main tool is my 10 fingers right here and my hands, and we pretty much get down and dirty and find these eggs. It is the evening here. Just a second ago, Petrie was out. Petrie! Petrie? Now Petrie's gone. All right, well, we're gonna go this way, actually, and we are going to go and find some tortoise eggs. So um, let's go find some tortoise eggs and let's see what we can find today. We actually had a little bit of tortoises digging yesterday, so we should be able to see some uh, eggs, hopefully. Hopefully we do get some eggs, and I don't know, maybe put in the comments how many nests you think we're gonna find, and how many eggs you guys think we're gonna find. Baby turkeys, I know I've showed them recently again, but they're all doing great, they're doing amazing, they're getting big, and I gave a big G that's right behind this a little bit of enrichment, check it out. Right over here, we're doing some landscaping and all the extra weeds and dirt and everything. What we've been doing, let me give this guy a little flower because he knows I'm talking to him. Here you go, big guy, put that right there. We made uh, all the extra weeds and dirt. I just made a big pile right in front of his little house that he goes to. So he has to walk over that hill to go over there because these guys, the Galapagos tortoises are actually where they're from. There's a lot of hills and a lot of mountains and it is natural for them to be walking up and down on hills. Florida doesn't have any hills or mountains so we have to make those stuff here for them because that's the way they need to exercise, move their legs in the way that they've worked for hundreds and millions of years. But enough talking about Big G and whoever else around here. Let's go find some tortoise eggs. So, yellowfoots have been breeding up a storm. There's actually two eggs right over there. So we're gonna collect those two eggs. I have this little device right here, and this is called, um, I have no idea. It's just like a little deli cup thingy that I've been for some reason recently using it a lot. So what I do is I just collect this whole thing up with eggs. So what we're gonna do is some yellowfoots have dropped some eggs inside of this enclosure. So why not just pick them up and Hope that they might be good. Oh, I thought it was two eggs. One egg. Now that egg is very big and massive. Not sure if it's even good at all, but we'll clean it up and hope that it is good. All right, all right, all right. So come on this way. Follow me, girls, boys, everybody that's there. Redfoots have been nesting a lot, so come on. You gotta follow me. All right, so female four that is right here. This girl right here has been looking to lay a lot. This girl right here, she's been nesting, trying to find a spot all over the place, but hasn't found the exact right spot yet. Um, so right around here somewhere, uh, there actually was a big, big female laying a nest right there. Don't step too close that way, be careful over there. Let me check over here. All right, so we're gonna come inside of here and check inside this house. I do see some uh, marks in there. Don't know if there is nest in here. I know there's nest. If there is any nest, it's gonna be in the far back corners. It won't be right here in the front. We're gonna move this female to the side a little bit and we're gonna dig right here and check it out. See if we can find anything. So pretty much wherever we find indents, we dig and we look around for things. All right, so you just go very, very carefully and see if we can find anything in here. It's like concrete over here. My God, you guys smell that? Oh, you guys can't smell it, I'm sorry. But I can smell guava. There's a guava tree right there. Look at that guava tree. It, it is bright right now. There's a lot, a lot of smell in there. All right, there's another nest right here I'm checking. Not sure if there's anything in this one at all. All right, so pretty much what I call these, I'm sure a lot of people call these too. These are just test holes. They're not good enough. They don't like them. There's too much uh, movement in here. It could be a lot of things. These tortoises have lived for thousands of years, millions of years, and they know what to look for. So there was nothing there that I found. But what we could do is we're gonna walk this way, and I'm gonna show you the female that I saw actually nesting yesterday. Let me see if I could grab her to show you guys. I think it might be her. Nope, that's a boy. Hold on, let me find her. Where are you, Missy? Oh, I forgot, we have a container over here with a ton of turtles. And it's none of those either. All right. There's one in here. Is there a big one there? No, no. Nope, that's not her either. I don't know where she's at right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Nope. All right, right here, there's a nest. I took a picture last night. Oh, here she is. So this big girl right here, this massive girl right here. It's probably one of my biggest females. She is a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Look how big she is. Big, big girl. And um, how many eggs you guys think she laid yesterday? Put it in the comments right now. How many eggs you guys think she laid? We're going to keep her right there. Let her go mind her own business. This is actually a big hibiscus tree. They munch in the leaves that get down low. So we're going to come right over here. And right here, if you guys look closely, there is a very big, weird movement right here. It's not flat like how it is everywhere else because there's probably eggs here. I saw her digging a lot yesterday. I'll show you right now. Today, when you, when you guys see this, I'm not sure what day it's going to be, but today is October 14th. And right here in my pictures, we go back, 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 right here. Yesterday at 7.06, she was nesting right there. And that's right across right here. So it should be right exactly. It's like finding treasure. It's really, really fun to do this stuff. So let's let's just start digging here. Get a better look. And let's start moving this stuff around. So put in the comments, you guys, how many eggs you guys think there are going to be. I, I don't even know if there is any eggs. But we're going to figure it out, both of us together. See if we can find any eggs. I'll tell you in a second if we find anything. Um, we're digging. You want to be a little bit careful because you obviously don't want to break them. They're eggs. They're like ping pong balls. And this is a big female. She should lay a lot of eggs. She compact. Oh, that's all an egg. But you got to be careful with this situation. Rocks. They pack those rocks in very, very well. And then it's very hard to actually get them out correctly. Oh yeah, come over here you guys, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Just right here, I can see three eggs, I don't know if you guys see this. You guys see that? Can you guys see that? You guys see that right there? Mm -hmm. Four beautiful eggs right there, there's probably more, I'm not too sure, but we gotta dig them out, get them all out, my little container. Alright. Okay, here we go. Look at that, beautiful, nice egg right there. So that's one. You don't want to move it around too much because they've been here for about 24 hours already. So you want to keep it however way it was sitting in the ground. You keep it that side up. So right now we're at two eggs. That was a yellow foot egg from over there. And I already see more eggs than we were already saying. Four. So we're at two eggs. This is three eggs right there. Right here is four eggs right there. Pretty awesome. Always check all the corners. The top areas. Okay, nothing right there. Pretty big egg chamber. And right over here, all the way up against the side, we got another one right here. Right there. Got five. Heck yeah, we got five beautiful eggs. Keep on looking around. Now look how big this is. This humongous hole right here. She laid four beautiful, well, five beautiful eggs. Oh my God, look at this female coming in hot. She's like, what are you guys doing over there? So yeah, that is pretty much it. Look at that. See how big that chamber is? It's pretty, pretty dope how these females can use their back legs, sit there very, very late throughout the night or mornings, whatever it is, and get those eggs. So we got five beautiful eggs from that female, and that is her first clutch of the year. So I'll mark it down, remind myself that she's late, and hopefully in exactly a month from now, today is October 14th, so she actually laid them October 13th. Hopefully by November 13th, she will lay once more and I possibly even two more times after that. We recover the hole, push it all down. All the tourists are coming over here checking out what we're doing. But yeah, we got five beautiful eggs. We already have a nice group of eggs in there already. So those are right there. What I like to do is bring them to the house, um, clean them all up and everything. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I have other spots to actually check out to see if there's more eggs. So we're gonna keep these bad boys there. And I've seen some broken stuff over here. So I'm going to get back to you guys in about two minutes and see if there's any other eggs here for you guys to look and see if we can bet how many eggs we can find. So I didn't see any more nests inside of the red foot enclosure. I walked back into the yellow foot to do a second check. And right here, we found another egg. Uh, my females have been laying very, very well over here. We have a nice clutches of yellow foot as well. But... Unfortunately, the males are not doing the job and they're not all fertile. Well, they've never been fertile for me yet, obviously, because I haven't produced my personally owned yellow foots. Um, and then sometimes we get these very thick calcium, uh, thick eggs, and they don't ever do good for me for these. But you never know. Put them in the incubator. If they're not rotten and they don't look cracked or split up or anything, we're going to keep them. Even if they are split up, you can actually patch them up. But um, yeah. 
what we're doing right here. We're gonna put this right here. So that's two yellow foot eggs and five red foot eggs. I have one more area to check for you guys and let's go see what else we have in store. So yeah, this female right here is a gorgeous, gorgeous female. Let me, let me show you guys her. Ah, give me my big girl. Gorgeous, gorgeous red foot female right here. And uh, she is very fat. A little bit of fungus on the bottom, but that is okay. She just needs a little bit of, what's that called? Scarlet oil, and then she'll be all perfectly uh, fine. But uh, this area is a really cool area. There's actually one male red foot in here. And then on top of that, we have a leopard tortoise inside of here too. Actually a male. So we might be making some different things in here. We'll see in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at the ranch. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Put those post notifications on. Make sure you guys like these videos. I really, really appreciate all of you. And the end of the year is really going to be getting hit with a big bang. We have a lot of cool things getting done. Two brand new enclosures getting built right here in the next couple weeks. And then the aviary build. Stay tuned, you guys, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, everyone.